Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Oceans Unmanned's free fly program uses UAS for large well entanglement response efforts. Interior expands capabilities with VTOL and fixed wing UAVs. And BMW brings the Drone Racing League to BMW Welds in Munich. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. In partnership with NOAA Hawaiian Island Humpback Well National Marine Sanctuary, Oceans Unmanned Incorporated has launched the Free Fly Program, a new initiative using small UAS to provide aerial support for large well entanglement response efforts. The goals of the network are to safely free endangered humpback whales and other marine animals from life-threatening entanglements, while also collecting crucial information. The addition of aerial imagery provided by on-scene vessel launch UAS will provide responders improved situational awareness and increased safety for both the animal and responder. Cutting free a 45-foot, 40-ton free-swimming animal is not an easy task. It can be dangerous. Drones are going to be a critical tool in reducing the risk involved in this type of effort, says Ed Lyman, NOAA Large Well Entanglement Response Coordinator. A recent training class has certified three local volunteer operators to support response efforts through the end of the current well season, and more training is scheduled in the fall. DJI and DART drones will provide additional support for the free fly program. DJI is donating its Phantom 4 Pro systems and accessories to the program, while DART drones has provided online Part 107 remote pilot certificate test preparation classes for experienced candidates to become FAA compliant as required. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's that time of year again when the Aero News crew ventures out for some special coverage projects. And next week we'll be covering the Aircraft Electronics Association Annual Convention and Trade Show live via airborne-live.net. What that means is that Airborne Unmanned will not webcast next week while the entire crew is livecasting from AEA, but will be returning the following week. Our AEA coverage will feature all the exciting news of the avionics industry for both manned and unmanned communities. So do check out airborne-live.net and join us for live comprehensive coverage of AEA 2018. Oakland University professor John Carroll is part of a pioneering team of scholars harnessing the latest advances in science and technology to promote sustainable agriculture in Africa. Carroll recently traveled to Lawan, Malawi to work on a research project helping farmers boost crop production in the face of mounting threats posed by climate change. The project is called Precision Agriculture for Smallholder Systems in Africa. Airspace Systems Incorporated, manufacturer of comprehensive drone defense systems, has raised $20 million from a Series A funding round led by Singtool Innovate, the venture capital arm of Singtool. With participation from S28 Capital and previous investors Shasta Ventures and Granite Hill Capital Partners. As part of its investment, Jeff Karras, Managing Director of Investments at Singtool Innovate, will join Airspace's board of directors. Kansas State University's Polytechnic Campus is again taking its unmanned aircraft systems, also known as drones, expertise on the road, offering its Part 107 preparation course April 27th through 29th in the Denver area. The course is designed to prepare professionals for the FAA's written exam, which is required for anyone wanting to operate a commercial small unmanned aircraft who does not already hold a manned pilot certificate. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. The U.S. Department of the Interior will soon have the use of up to 50 vertical takeoff and landing fixed-wing UAS. The small aircraft support DOI's land stewardship responsibilities with advancements in technologies that improve resource management and facilitate emergency response. 
This new tool was made possible after a lengthy process to develop mission performance requirements and select the most useful type of aircraft to meet the needs. A contract was awarded to American small business Bird's Eye View Aerobotics of Andover, New Hampshire, to produce and train on the new UAS. These new fixed-wing aircraft are another weapon in our arsenal as we remain committed to preventing the spread of catastrophic wildfires, said U.S. Secretary of the Interior Ryan Zink. The aircraft weigh less than 10 pounds and are capable of carrying a variety of modular sensors. DOI expects to use these aircrafts across its mission portfolio to complement current UAS capabilities. The extended range provides increased safety and capabilities where DOI already has beyond visual line of sight authority within temporary flight restrictions, such as those established over large wildfires. BMW is collaborating with the Drone Racing League to further develop high-performance racing drones in the BMW Group Wind Tunnel and bring a professional drone race to BMW Welt. DRL organizes the largest global drone racing series, the DRL Alliance World Championship, in which elite FPV pilots race custom-made DRL drones through complex three-dimensional courses and iconic venues across the world. As the official partner, BNW is bringing the second to the last race of the 2018 season to Munich on July 28, taking place at BMW Welt. The race will be broadcast this fall in more than 75 countries on leading sports programs, including ProSieben. We're thrilled to be partnering with BMW, a world-class motorsports brand with a rich legacy of innovation. We look forward to bringing the futuristic sport of drone racing to BMW Welt and putting our proprietary technology to the test to make history with BMW, said DRL CEO and founder Nicholas Horbogzewski. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at aevsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net.